from Points Panda. Here to know another exciting flight review flying on Aeromexico's Boeing 787-9 between Mexico City in September 2020 and back to Mexico City from Sao Paulo on the same aircraft six weeks later. I got an absolutely incredible deal on this round trip flight booking it with Aeromexico's own Club Premier program, as it was significantly cheaper than one Delta, Air France, or other Sky Team partners were offering for the same flight. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and it encourages me to produce more free videos. If you'd like to see this flight review in written format, you can do so on our website by clicking the link at the top of the comments. Aeromexico was having a sale at the time to book this flight for 52,500 Aeromexico kilometers or 105,000 Aeromexico kilometers round trip. Remember, while Brex and Capital One transfer at 101 with Aeromexico, American Express transfers at 1.6 to 1 to make up for the fact that they count the rewards in kilometers rather than miles, meaning this 10-hour flight was only 32,500 Amex points each from Mexico City to Sao Paulo. Just a quick tip, so when booking Aeromexico award flights, um, make sure to get the 787-9 over their 787-8 if possible. Now, there's nothing wrong with the 787-8, but in my opinion, the 2x2x2 seating is a little bit outdated uh, compared to their higher-end reverse herringbone seats on their 787-9. So let's talk a little bit about check-in at Mexico City Airport. Uh, it was frankly a breeze at Terminal 2. I checked into a Sky Priority, showed them the documents. It's security. As you can see, there's no line for Sky Priority. So the security was also fast. On the way back from Sao Paulo to Mexico City, it was even faster. The Aeromexico Lounge in Terminal 2, I've talked about it in other videos. It's a fantastic lounge. Service at the time was a little bit limited. Um, they've definitely cut down their buffet to only packaged items. You can uh, get into it with a, any priority pass. Uh, so if you have a Chase Sapphire Reserve card or any card that has a priority pass, you can get into the lounge, but it was included in my ticket. Everything was pre-wrapped. Uh, they would also bring you a small hot snack, either breakfast or a, whole, a small hot sandwich, depending on the time. And you can also order more substantial meals for a fee. So the Wi-Fi in the Aeromexico Premier Lounge is always a bit slow and unstable. Frankly, I think the airport's Wi-Fi is fine. But one thing I do love about the lounge in Aeromexico is they have so much ample seating. And they actually have two twin lounges in Terminal 2, so that really spreads the people out. There's always a place to sit. Overall, I have no complaints about Aeromexico's Club Premier Lounge in Mexico City. Uh, unfortunately, on the return flight from Sao Paulo, all the lounges in the International Terminal were closed. So for boarding, both times they allowed business class to board first and then they did uh, front to back for the rest of the economy cabins. So on the way down, we weren't given a complimentary drink, but on the way back, they gave us a choice between water or orange juice, but not champagne. I chose seat 3J on the plane on the way down and 2J on the way up. Um, so yeah, let's talk a little, little bit about the hard product. The 787-9 reverse herringbone seat is the by far the best seat in Aeromexico's fleet for business class. And if you're gonna book an uh, Aeromexico award with points, really try to make sure you get the 787-9. As far as the seat itself, you have a nice touchscreen that lets you customize the controls. It felt quick, easy, responsive. Uh, on the route from Mexico City to Sao Paulo, it did seem like my seat only reclined just a little less than 180 degrees, maybe 170, which is fine for watching a movie, but when I went to sleep, there were plenty of other seats open, so I just used those. So the screens on the Aeromexico 787-9, uh, they feel much bigger. Um, they do provide some headphones that I didn't use them. I use my Bose NC700 noise canceling headphones I brought with me. And it was just a really nice setup. I felt like I was in my own little movie theater. Uh, the screen was crisp and bright. The movie selection uh, was quite solid. Uh, I chose the movie Motherless Brooklyn featuring Edward Norton. I hadn't seen it before. Uh, my favorite part as a fellow AV geek was obviously the Panasonic air show where you can zoom in and out, see all the different cameras on the aircraft. The seat also has your standard USB and AC outlets. And the Wi-Fi on Aeromexico's Boeing 787-9 is provided by Panasonic, uh, not GoGo. I've used it on other flights, but not this one. It's usually very fast, but it was $40 to have unlimited Wi-Fi. <laughs> I didn't test the Wi-Fi uh, for this flight review.
What they did offer was a texting package that was basically free. It was a dollar and 38 cents. I don't even know why they're charging if it was going to be just a little over a dollar. I had similar features to Delta's uh, free texting. You get WhatsApp, iMessage, uh, Facebook Messenger, uh, a few others. And it was nice. It allowed me to chat with friends and, and pass a little bit of the time. So the restrooms were well kept, but to be honest, nothing special. They included some extra soaps and lotions and, you know, a nice fake flower to give it a little bit of more premium feel. Uh, it, it was a nice restroom. And another interesting feature of this Boeing 787-9 is it has a small kind of lounge area. I wouldn't get too excited, right? It's, it's not Emirates. It's not the Korean Air A380. It's not really a bar. It's, it's just kind of a, a self-service area that has a coffee machine, uh, snacks, a little refrigerator uh, with, with uh, water and, and milk where you can serve in yourself. Uh, and it's in the middle galley of the business class section. You know, some cookies there as well. And the favorite part was a self-serve coffee machine with espresso pods. See, but I would say the business class was kept probably about 72, 73 degrees, or it was about 22 Celsius, which I really appreciated. The food's been better, the service is better. Obviously due to the COVID pandemic, uh, you know, many of the amenities have been suspended, but you know, I was still impressed by the friendliness of the flight attendants, the food, the lounge. Uh, I really had no complaints at all. Other than, you know, them cutting down the menu to just two food options, having to wear a mask and limited service in the airport lounge. I, overall, it was almost the same as, as pre-COVID. So the amenity kit really was nothing too special. I did appreciate on the way down, they gave us a nice high quality orange pleather daub kit. So the Aeromexico amenity kit included a large, very high quality eye mask I still use today, a simple toothbrush, a one use mouthwash, a bar of soap, lip balm, chapstick, body lotion, a small uh, booklet, and earplugs with a re reusable case. Uh, so nothing special, just the basics, but it was all there. The service, frankly, was very brisk uh, both times around, and they said this was you know, to reduce contact between flight attendants and passengers. And unfortunately, there was uh, no menu. It was pretty similar to economy style. You were offered a choice of chicken or pasta. I chose chicken. The meal came with real silverware and plates, but was on a tray. Uh, the food was actually pretty good. The chicken was slightly tough, but came with a nice marinara sauce uh, to dip it in. On the way down, it wasn't half bad, but on the way up, this, that same chicken was a bit overcooked and tough. The main meal also came with the salad and some sort of soft cake, I guess kind of like a flan or cheesecake. Uh, for drinks, they came once to ask you what you want. I got a uh, red wine, a Chilean red wine, Cabernet, uh, it was great. Um, I saw the people ordering mixed drinks. Uh, they had mixed drinks as well. In total, I think they came around four times. So it took them a long time to start service, especially on the way down. But once they got started, it was pretty good. They also offered us red, bread rolls, offered to refill the wine. Once I collected my tray, I told them I was still really hungry. And they brought me some packaged potato chips and mixed nuts, which, yeah, all things considered, I know it's pretty basic, but it, it paired quite nicely with the red uh, wine while I was watching the movie. All the food was served on ceramic plates with crystal glasses and metal cutlery. Uh, I did choose to have them wake me up for breakfast both times, uh, on the way down and on the way up. Both times it was exactly the same, an omelet, bacon, asparagus, cooked tomatoes, some yogurt, and uh, your choice of whatever beverage you want. Um, got coffee, uh, no complaints there. <laughs> I know from the photos, the breakfast doesn't look pretty good, but it, it actually was. So overall, I was very happy with the experience flying in a lay flat seat and eating on an airplane with full cutlery and crystal glasses. It kind of made me forget that we were in the middle of a pandemic for a little while, you know, and <laughs> there's really not so many opportunities to fly on such a long flight. So I, I, you know, the only place I can really fault there in Mexico, on the way down from Mexico City to Sao Paulo, there was no welcome drink or snacks. And it was well over an hour, possibly close to two till they came by and served anything. And I think by that point, you know, passengers were, were pretty much starving, right? Because we boarded around six o'clock and by then it was around 9 p.m. So I guess, you know, is it worth it to book Aeromexico business class, you know, class of premier? A lot of people ask if it's worth it during COVID times to book these experiences on points or not. You know, other than the reduced food offerings in the lounge and of course having to wear a mask at all times, there wasn't like really a huge difference uh, in service, right? The biggest difference in service is usually they have a menu where you can order different things. And this time it was more kind of economy style. You want, you know, chicken or spaghetti, 
Um, but I'd say in, in this case, especially, it was definitely worth it to fly Aeromexico business class and be able to sleep in a nice you know, bed for, for 10 hours. I mean, just, just based on that alone, it was worth it. For these long flights, uh, to get a reverse herringbone seat, which is basically your own little pod, for 32,500 uh, American Express points, definitely worth it. So overall, I was very happy uh, with this flight and, and I would definitely recommend, you know, using Aeromexico, Delta or your uh, flying blue points to get one of these experiences, especially if you can get it at such a cheap price. Once again, this is Freddy from Points Panda. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Once again, this is Freddy from Points Panda. To your left, you'll see a link to the corresponding article we wrote that goes farther in depth into this topic. Once again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys soon.